I kept on beating him with Spider-Man and he lost it and said, oh, that's it, I'm not playing anymore because Spider-Man's way too powerful. You can't beat him. Fasten your seatbelts for an epic Spider-Man video. Flip. Hi Spidey fans, it's your friendly neighborhood, the ultimate Spider-Man fan here and I'm here with my next review video review video on Spider-Man Friends or Fro 2007. Right, I understand a lot of people say this is um, one, of, one of the worst Spider-Man games ever made. I will say that, um, it, well, I like it a lot because it's based off my favorite style, Raimi style. Um, I will say that I actually did enjoy playing this game a lot as a kid, and that, like I said, like I said, he's a lot. Uh, like I've said, he's in the past. Right, this is the game that got me head over heels in the Spider Man two thousand and seven, because it was playing against against another player, my, my uh, dad to be exact, and uh, I kept on beating him with Spider Man, and he lost it and said, "Oh, that's it. I'm not playing anymore because Spider Man's way too powerful. You can't beat him," and that's um, why. I went in the game a lot more. So, um, I will say, let's see, right, the acrobatics are, okay, well, so, like, the only move I like in this game, which is not on the PSP version, unfortunately, is the one where you hold circle and then web, web the bad guy and then swing him around and chuck him away. These, uh, that's the move that I actually love in this game. I actually use it a lot. Um, the acrobatics are pretty cool, I will say. But um, um, I see. Well, well, I will say in my opinion that it's a good team up game for young kids. I I actually like. I do. Yeah, I will. I still do like this game a lot. I understand how a lot of people don't like. All right, the story is a bit weird. Because um, basically all the all the um allies and and the enemies are all being controlled by the Far From Home villain or character Fishbowl Head Mysterio Quentin Beck who by the way, spoiler alert for those of you who don't have this is the main villain of this so yeah, you get the, you get the unlock characters as you go along like Blade, Venom, Black, like Black Cat, Green Goblin Iron Fist, Doc Ock so um, yeah, basically you're teaming up with all your enemies and allies to to basically track down Mysterio for controlling them, but and I will like at the time. Well, it's still I just like going on this to fight them, fight the bad guys. It wasn't like um the story's all right for me, but um I just go on this to fight the bad guys. No, but I just go on this to fight the fight the bad guys, and that's it. So yeah. Although, sorry, if, sorry if I'm uh, young and quite a lot of spy fans, don't know why. Yeah, so other than that, spy fans, that's going to be it for this review video. So, yeah, um, would I recommend this to you? I probably would say I would recommend it to any um, kid out there who has a PS2. It's a very fun game to play. You get the team up. And it's a co-op game too, two players. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment below what you think. And we'll see all you spy fans as always in all of my next Apex Spy videos. It's your friendly neighbourhood. Leo the most spidey fan over and out. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches feet just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man.